My question to you for the day, what does the first week of June mean to you? Is it the first seven days of the month or is it the first first week? Let me know what you think that means because we're going to get into the ready or not updates. First thing that we're going to be talking about today is something that was posted by Ray Haku, which initially I thought that this person was a part of the community management team, but that's actually incorrect. As people of my subscriber section have said, Ray Haku is actually their lead animator. I don't usually see that guy talk that often, so I kind of didn't know. So I'll take the blame on that one but let's see what this person has to say. It starts off with saying, this upcoming update will not only include improvements with level art and enemy AI, combat behavior, but also improvements with SWAT animations and movements with the goal of creating a much more natural and realistic feel. SWAT players and AI will have movement acceleration and deceleration in this upcoming update. They will need to gain momentum as they begin moving and that momentum persists once they stop as they will take one or two extra steps before coming to a complete halt. All this has been designed to be as non-intrusive as as possible so you won't notice much of it going on during the gameplay and you will not come into any situation where you would be running into walls this took quite a bit of effort to pull out by our technical animator and the animations for these movement transitions count up to the hundreds wow their movement animations have also been improved and the addition of turn in place animations means that they will no longer spin around in place when they look around instead turning their upper body around first before taking small steps to correct their direction this is also non-intrusive and responsive and your control as a player will not be affected by these animations okay cool and then they have a video here called distance matching let's take a look at this bad boy all right rolling moving up I'm assuming that's the AI. Never seen AI in the training room before. Seems odd to me. I think the thing that I really like about this is that they actually like replace where the SWAT officer is. I wish it would still hug the walls more, like just slam themselves up against it. That would be great, but I think this is probably as good as they're gonna get. And them going through the door right there probably could have been better. Like I feel like they could wait just a tad bit more for one of the people to go in first and then stack in behind him, left, right, left, right. But that's just me. They definitely do look a lot better than the previous SWAT AI, though I will say. But what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know. I think it definitely looks better, but not by too much. I still like how the suspect AI kind of like hug the wall and then look around. Like I kind of wish the SWAT AI would do that, but I don't know. You tell me. Do you think it's better or not? So that pretty much does it for the mini dev update. There was another one yesterday, but I didn't cover it. So we're just going to go into that. This one was posted by Grunter. Grunter says, you're cheating. This is a macro dev update. I'm not sure what that means, but he shows off two pictures and the pictures look very actually like much more grittier than the previous meth house here. Uh, one thing that I want to say is that this place that he's showing off here is actually one of the spawning places for Meth House. If you're playing just the first one, but it looks like the garage here is actually closed. Usually it's almost always open. I'm not sure exactly what's different here. So maybe the trash bags are different and there's a bunch of like tires and dumpsters right here. I don't think I've seen these here before, but I could be wrong. Blue truck is here. I don't remember vehicles being here on the right. I'd have to take a look. There's also a fence there. Was there a fence there before? I don't remember. That kind of looks like the that shitty fence, the California fence that I see freaking everywhere. The chain link, hate that fence. But it just feels like such a 90s thing. I'll probably do like a before and after to see what it looks like, but uh, yeah. Then it shows off another picture that's underneath this one and it kind of looks like uh, there's like a city in the background. It's probably like an effect where they have just a bunch of buildings or maybe it's just uh, like a picture over there. I don't know. I think somebody did fly over there and was like, yeah, they actually put buildings back there, but I don't know. I can't say for sure. I've never looked at it myself, but that's pretty neat. Definitely makes it look a lot more realistic. You got a bunch of power lines here and a bunch of freaking trees here and palm trees and are those christmas lights on the house it's kind of funny there's always that one guy that just like says fuck it like i don't want to take down the stupid christmas lights but yeah this is definitely cool i'd like to see what it looks like in the daytime too but i doubt they're going to probably do that well i don't know they definitely do have day maps but i kind of wish you could actually like change the time of day which maybe will be a thing who knows but underneath the picture he says some meth lighting reworks cool okay that seems to do it for the mini dev updates now we're gonna get into 
the scattered updates that they just randomly post in general chat and I literally have to go fishing for them. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that, but I would kind of like to have this stuff organized instead of me having to go look for it. But I want to be a ready or not content creator if I wasn't covering everything. Uh. All right, so we're going to start with what Ali said. Somebody had asked the question, Ali, also when you said this week for the update, did you mean like Sunday or the following week, like the 6th through the 10th? And Ali responded with, the following week, we're hoping to get this update out to supporters then. He also answered kind of the same question, saying this week hopefully should go out to supporters for testing. So we'll see. He said this like two or three days ago, I believe. So maybe we'll see it at some point. But uh, yeah, another thing of note, the same day that he said that, he also said that they have planned something for Geralt sneaking behavior, like hiding and moving in between the walls to other rooms, kind of like a scurrying rat. That would definitely be an interesting boss to find. And yeah, these guys are, I guess, counted as bosses now. If you don't know who Geralt is, he's this guy, the guy who's freaking butt booty naked. I never know how to say his name. I think it's Gerard? Gerard. Yeah. I keep saying Geralt, but it's Gerard. He's this guy with his freaking dick hanging out. But yeah, to see this guy freaking running around like a goddamn rat, like, whoa, shit, what the hell? Oh, hell no. To the no, no. But yeah, that's pretty much the only notable things that I think I saw from Ali. On to the next person that dropped a bunch of stuff. Rapolio freaking went nuts today. Like, what the hell? He dropped like one, two, three, four, five, six pictures that I can see we're gonna take a look at. Okay, the first picture that I dropped here is of him inside of the penthouse here. He's commanding SWAT AI. How I know is because there's no name tags on top of these guys. And also there's like a little indicator right here that signifies that you can actually command these guys. They're in the new version of penthouse. Happy hum. I'm sure there's like an E on the floor somewhere. That door looks different. I think this is the first time I've actually seen a tattoo on one of these characters. There's a tattoo on his forearm right there to of what i'm not too sure but i just noticed that you can actually have shirts on instead of like full-on sleeves that's cool the new skins are definitely looking pretty good from the backside here but it looks like they're about to breach into one of the penthouses here so yeah that's the only thing that i can really see with this picture here so what's the next one which is i believe the inside of this place that they just pushed into just judging by the little rifle that's right there live laugh love wow the most generic thing that you'll find on any freaking wall at any freaking place at any freaking time so this is like the 70s era penthouse that for some reason uh, this person really likes 70s stuff, I guess. I played through here, but this is definitely newer. Fridges look nice. I like the ovens that are in the wall there. Pretty neat. Nothing too significant with this picture, so we're just going to move on to the next one here. This is just a full frontal of the brand new skin model for the SWAT. And I gotta say, it looks pretty good. We've already covered a lot of this stuff here in previous videos, so I don't really have too much to say about it aside from... Well, actually, I don't really have anything to say about it really it's just a really nice looking model i got to really say about it but let's push on to the next thing here we get more of that gorgeous looking ui where it shows off the two different ammo types you got ap augmentation augmentation what does that mean jhp the two different ammo types that you could take at the current moment still wonder if they're gonna add in fmj at all but i wonder how many mags you can actually take i hope there's not like a limit i don't want to just take four mags hope we're able to take a little more than that but i guess we'll see when we get into it but also they got here stinger grenade and flashbangs two of each that's pretty nice one deployable that we can't see unfortunately these seem to be the ammo for the sr16 pretty nice pretty nice pushing on from that got another picture that just shows off the ammo types for the pistol i believe the 57 usg ammunition type you got jhp and ap okay cool pushing on to the last one here they're kind of showing off how the ui works and looks for the new ammo types and i'm assuming that you can just switch it like double tap r until you get to the correct one i guess but yeah it looks pretty simple Simplistic. Definitely cannot wait to try this out. Also, Rapolio said that slugs will be yellow shells and the other type of shell will be red, I assume. So pretty neat. I was debating on covering this, but I was just like, ah, what the hell? Mini dev bugs. First one that they have here is a guy that literally has a floating head and no inside. The one underneath this one is a guy that's smoking through his nose. They say that the best way to get high is by snorting it. Underneath that one is a guy that looks like a fucking ghost. <laughs> it looks like he's coming through the wall towards you. That looks fucking creepy as shit. Imagine seeing that and you're game is he's like looking at you. That would creep the shit out of me. And they just posted another one here called Zip Ties Sights. That should be a freaking easter egg right there. Do something to freaking put Zip Ties as a goddamn iron sights. That'd be funny as fuck. But anyways. Last thing that I want to mention is that Zach did drop some music for Gas Station. Uh, I don't know where I'd put this in this video so I thought I'd just mention it. And uh, yeah. And that seems to be pretty much it for anything Ready or Not related today. Well, I'm going to end the video. If you enjoyed the fact that I cover games like Ready or Not then be sure to like the video 
video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon or hop on that join button that's underneath the video. Any donation helps. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on Ready or Not or any other game that I decide to cover. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.